forgot my mic. Fail. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good evening. My name is Dr. Michael Hyland. I am the owner uh, and CEO of Highland Physical Therapy and Wellness, uh, right here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, uh, but helping people all over the world to learn and to understand their Parkinson's disease, to be empowered. Um, and I'm going to see if I can reverse my... There we go. That way, everything's not backwards. All right, well this evening, I just wanted to do a little bit of a live video with you and just uh, come on and talk a little bit about dry mouth and Parkinson's disease and what impact that has on people with Parkinson's. Um, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit more. You can't really see my shirt right now. Uh, hey, I just wanna do a quick shout out for my friend uh, Sharon Wisniewski uh, up in New Jersey. She owns a physical therapy practice called uh, Authentic Self Physical Therapy. Be sure to go check her out. I'm gonna uh, plan on tagging, uh, tagging her in this post. Um, so just give her some love. And if you're, especially if you're up in that New Jersey area, I forget exactly which town she's in, but she's up in New Jersey, so check her out. Um, anyway, tonight we're talking about dry mouth. So dry mouth and Parkinson's is a very important subject, and uh, the message I have for you is if you have Parkinson's disease, don't let dry mouth ruin your dental, your dental health. And it can, and it can do it dramatically. Um, in fact, I did a live presentation on this in my Facebook group, Parkinson's Warriors International, earlier today because uh, it's Wellness Wednesday, so we're talking about wellness and, uh, and uh, successfully living with and managing Parkinson's. So uh, one of my group members um, mentioned today that it took, over the course of two years, dry mouth caused him to lose all his teeth. That was in response to the video where I was talking about exactly what I'm going to talk about tonight uh, with you all. And uh, so it's very important. Why is this important? <clears throat> so obviously we don't want to lose our teeth, but why is dry mouth a thing with Parkinson's? Number one, uh, the autonomic nervous system is affected with Parkinson's disease. So the autonomic nervous system is what we do without thinking about it. So our nervous system controls our breathing, digestion, uh, our, our blood pressure response, stress response, like the fight or flight reactions. Um, uh, bowel and bladder, all those things that we, we don't have to do it consciously, it just happens, right? Um, so the autonomic nervous system regulates blood, blood flow control, so like how much blood is flowing in your fingertips and your feet, or how little, um, uh, so little, the small blood vessels, capillaries. Um, and, uh, and that, another thing is also salivation. So the ability to salivate uh, is controlled by glands in your mouth, and it's a neurological process. Um, just the smell of food, or the thought of food, or the sight of food can make you start to salivate, right? So um, it's a neurological thing. It's a brain-body connection directly. And your gut is gonna start to move uh, with that association with food. So salivation is that process that starts, um, starts things moving and preparing the body for eating, right? So you have to have uh, adequate amount of saliva to moisten the food to get it down um, and saliva actually helps break down our food um, helps break down the food before digestion so that it can be a little bit easier to um, to start digesting once it gets into our gut um, so all that to say that Parkinson's disease can result in decreased saliva production and on top of that the medications that treat Parkinson's can also lead to dry mouth so it's a double whammy why does dry mouth result in tooth decay and gum disease? So that's an important question. And the answer is because when our mouth does not have adequate saliva or hydration, the bacteria that normally live on our teeth or, or grow, uh, you know, there's, there's a normal flora of bacteria that we have in our mouth, but also when we eat um, certain foods, especially sugary foods, uh, we're going to have bacteria colonies start to accumulate on and between the teeth. Um, typically, saliva helps to wash those away a little bit, um, not to mention drinking water and so forth. 
with dry mouth, those bacterial colonies tend to stay on the teeth. And what, when plaque and bacteria stay on the teeth, that's an automatic recipe for tooth decay and gum disease. So how can we fight that? Well, um, obviously medications are important, so you don't want to stop your Parkinson's meds if, unless you're under the direct guidance of a physician to try to do that. Uh, I doubt that would be recommended, but what you can do that's um, over the counter, uh, there, might be, there might be a prescription version of this, but I'm pretty sure it's over the counter. There's a, a mouth rinse called Biotene, uh, and there's also a spray version of it. And Biotene essentially is kind of a synthetic saliva. So in, it is a way that you can, um, you, you can keep your mouth moist, and it's essentially just an oral rinse. Uh, and you can do it a couple times a day. I'm not sure how many times exactly is recommended, but you can do it a couple times a day at least, um, and the sp and or and or the spray, and that that has material in it that is very similar to saliva, and it can keep your mouth a little bit more moist uh, during the day. Other thing you can do that's even in addition to that is just to continue to hydrate and drink adequate amounts of water. Um, we could talk about that in another live about uh, hydration and Parkinson's and why that's crucial. This is just one of the reasons is dry mouth. Um, but anyway, uh, the other thing you can do is chew gum. And I don't recommend chewing just any kind of gum because a lot of gums are full of sugar. But there are, there are gums out there that are sugar free. They have either sugar substitute, um, unfortunately they're processed sugar a sweetener sometimes, but um, or they may have some natural sweeteners like stevia or uh, things like malitol, um, sorbitol. I'm trying to think of the other artificial sweeteners out there, but essentially they're not sugar, so they're not going to promote as much bacterial growth when you chew it. So chewing that uh, can really help. Um, Trident is a brand in particular um, that that is is has been recommended by dentists over the years because it really is it's sugar free and it allows you to be able to um, to chew gum and not have the you know added risk of you know sugar and cav increased uh, cavity risk uh, it actually can clean your teeth a little bit uh, to chew something like trident uh, or gum like trident and um, um, and chewing the gum can also help keep the mouth a little bit moist because of saliva production of having um, something sweet uh, or tasting sweet in your mouth. Uh, remember, as always, everybody, be empowered. This is Wellness Wednesday, and I'm Dr. Michael Hyland. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a blessed evening, and, and be empowered. I think I said that already. Have a good night.